the primary necessities of man are food, shelter and clothing. We require food to survive and to protect against diseases etc. We require shelter to live on. We require clothing for protection against climate, for modesty, beauty and also to show status. The material that we use for clothing is called fabric. Let us study how this fabric is produced, from what fibers the fabric is produced. The fabric is produced by two types of fibers. One is natural fiber and the other one man-made fiber. The natural fibers are produced from plants and animals. The examples of fibers produced from plants are cotton fibers, jute fibers, etc. The fibers obtained from animals are wool, silk fibers. The fabric which is produced from man made fibers is polyester, nylon, etc. Here, these are the different uh, fibers of man made. They are also referred to as synthetic fibers. So, what are the two types of fibers from which fabric is produced? natural fiber and man-made fiber. Natural fibers are produced from plants and animals. Man-made fibers are used to produce the following fabrics. One is polyester and the other one is nylon. Coming to the animal fibers. The animal fibers are of two types. Woolen fiber and silk fiber. Let us study about the separation of silk fiber and production of silk fabric from silk moth. Silk is produced from silk moth. It is scientifically called as Bombyx mori. The rearing of silk worms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. The life history of silk moth shows following stages. They are eggs, larva or caterpillar. cocoon imago to adult observe the different stages in the life history of silk moth the adult female moth 
releases eggs on mulberry leaves and it dies the eggs hatch into small worms and they develop into caterpillar larva by feeding on these mulberry leaves then after 30 to 35 days they stop feeding and start spinning silk fiber around themselves and at that stage it is referred to as cocoon and this is the picture of the growing moth inside the cocoon after 2 to 3 weeks the moth emerges out by breaking open this cocoon so the different stages in the life history of silk moth are eggs larva or caterpillar cocoon and imago to adult at what stage the fiber is produced is cocoon now in sericulture unit what precautions are taken to produce silk fiber are studied now the process of rearing of silk moths is called as sericulture in this unit specific area is selected and mulberry plants are specifically grown the adult moths are allowed to release eggs on the mats containing mulberry leaves the eggs hatch into larva which are small worms they feed on these leaves and grow into full size in about 30 to 35 days after 35 days they stop feeding when they grow fully they stop feeding and start spinning a fiber around themselves to form a closed sac known as cocoon this cocoon is uh, slightly heated in heated oven for 10 to 15 minutes to kill the growing moth inside otherwise if the moth emerges out from the cocoon the fiber of pure quality cannot be separated so the cocoons are boiled in a heated oven for 10 to 15 minutes by the process known as stifling these cocoons after boiling sent into the reeling units for separation of silk fiber in the reeling units 3 to 8 silk fiber are woven into silk threads or known as yarn in the reeling units about three to eight silk fibers are woven into silk threads or yarn this yarn which is produced in the reeling unit is cleaned bleached and dyed means after dyeing the permanent coloration is done on these fibers and sent into the weaving units in the weaving units the production of silk fabric is done the various silk fabrics which are produced are of the following types one is pochampalli pochampalli silk dharmavaram silk etc there name is done after their place of production so from moth stage finally silk fabrics of this type are produced this ends with the production of silk let us start with the production of wool
wool is the fiber which is produced from the following animals. They are sheep, goat, yak, alpaca, etc. The wool is produced from hair of these animals. The other name for hair of these animals is fleece. The wool is uh, produced by animals which live in mainly colder climates. The places from which these animals specially producing woolen fiber are Arunachal Pradesh, then Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, etc. Not only from colder climates, even from desert areas also the wool is produced from the animal like camel. Camel produces two types of fibers, one is coarse hair and the other one is soft hair. From both of these uh, hairs, specific fabrics are produced. Now let us study the processing of fiber, woolen fiber to fabric, its separation and uh, the various steps involved in the production of the woolen fabric from woolen fiber. The first step in the production of woolen fiber is shearing, a special instrument by name shear is used to remove hair from the skin of the sheep and uh, before removal grease is applied to prevent damage to the skin of these animals. In the second step that is scouring, the hair of these animals is dipped in water tanks containing chemicals to remove dirt, grease and dust from the fleas of these animals. In the third step that is sorting, the separation of coarse fibers and soft fibers is done and they are made into separate piles. Unwanted materials like twigs and leaves of the plants are also removed from the fibers during this step that is sorting. In the next step, bleaching and dyeing. In the next step that is bleaching and dyeing, the fibers are dyed with different colors after bleaching. Then this colored fibers after dyeing are sent to spinning units. In spinning units the fibers are pulled into a thick rope. In spinning units the fibers are rolled and spinned into thick ropes. Finally, further they are twisted and rolled into yarn. Next one, combing. The fibers are straightened by pulling the fibers using teeth of the combing machine. 
in combing method the wool is pulled through many teeth of the combing machine finally the woolen fiber is made straight by this method finally this after combing they are sent to the weaving units for separation of this uh, yarn into woolen fabric it is also done with uh, handmade knitting needles where the knots of uh, long threads of yarn are made into loops and rings forming finally the woolen fabric this knitting is also done in hand looms and power looms so we got the woolen fabric from woolen fiber